Shaw Kirby 707, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we got the Mirror Shield. In this part, we're going to progress through the Shadow Temple by going in this room and, whoa, there's a bunch of... Wrong weapon. I'm going to shoot these. These. These, uh, these bubbles. There we go. <laughs> Alright, oh, there's actually more. There we go. No, die. There we go. Alright, so we wanted to do is actually turn this mirror around and face it towards this bombable wall over here. Alrighty, so we're pretty much almost done with this temple. We only got like a one more room to go through and then we'll go to the boss. So, yeah. Alright. No, 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 no. I said bomb this wall. There we go. Alright, so let's bomb this wall and we go a little bit further. And more of the Zalfos that we can kill. Really simple as adulting. Really, really easy to beat. Alrighty. Now, there's actually a treasure chest in this room. I think you had to bomb a secret wall, but I believe it contains rupees, so I'm not even gonna go after that chest. Alrighty. Yeah, I believe it's behind this wall that you can bomb it, I believe so. If not, then I don't know what else. Okay, I'm wrong. Never mind. I don't know what to do in this room, <laughs> but whatever. Let's just go through. So now that we got sunlight in this room, we can actually shine the light on the sunshine. Alright, pop, pop, pop. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Alright. Alright, so stop hitting me. These stupid flying pots are everywhere. Alright, anyways, shine a light. And this will actually take us to the statue. Yeah. Kind of a shortcut. And by the way, this also leads to the boss room. As you can see on the map, the boss is right in front of us. Right here. So we shine the face and well erode the face pretty much. And there we go. And there's a boss over there. So yeah, the boss is right over here. So anyways, let's actually hookshot our way through here and opens the gate and we can go through. Alright guys, yeah, let's go do this. Alrighty. Alright, bring it on. Hey, wait a second. It's those witches that kidnapped Nabruru. Okay, where's Nabruru, guys? Ho ho ho, looks like someone is here, Kome. Hee hee hee, looks like it is, Kotake. So, Kome and Kotake, huh? What an outrageous fellow he is to intrude so boldly into our temple. Ho ho ho. We should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson. Hee hee hee. A loyal minion. Oh boy, another iron knuckle. What shall we do? Destroy this intruder on our behalf. Oh, get back here, you old hags. Come on. What the? That's actually my favorite scene in this game, is that the Iron Knuckle summons his axe with a snap. That's actually really cool. Alright, so simple as that. We fought these guys before, so let's just fight these Iron Knuckles. Oh boy. Alright. Just pretty much just spam A, or jump attack this guy, and jump back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, whoa, that was too close, buddy. Too close. <laughs> Alrighty. You want to beat me up? Bring it. I can take you on. And I'm not using the, the Bagoran sword, so I'm not even doing... Oh, what the? Hey, wait a minute. What the heck? I just saw somebody. Somebody that we know. Nobru? That was you? What happened? Uh, where am I? Well, well, looks like she's back to normal, Kome. What we mean, normal? She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo Kotake. Maybe we should make her work for the Great Ganondorf for a little while longer. Ho ho ho! What? Then we should brainwash her again. He he he! What? She was brainwashed all this time? No! What are you doing to Nabru? Come on, guys! You old, mean old hags! How dare you! Come on! Why do you why do you have to brainwash her? Come on! Alrighty. Well, that was actually not the real boss. The real boss is actually Kotake and Kome. So let's bring it. Let's go and fight these old hags. Alrighty. So for this battle, you want the mirror shield. Like the owl said, use your own magic against them. Alrighty, Kotake and Kome, where are you? Look at that stupid kid. He came out on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. Um, no, I'm here to defeat you guys. 
There's no sacrifice today, guys. <laughs> With my flame, I will burn him to the bone. Bad to the bone. Okay, and I'm not gonna see him yet. <laughs> Alrighty. What about you, Missy? With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. Is that so, huh? Well, bring it, ladies. Bring it, you old hags. All right, so we got the sorceress sister, Twin Rova. On uh, Kotaki and Komei, they're actually the mother or caretaker of Ganondorf. If I could show it. So yeah, they're Ganondorf's actual little surrogate mother. So they pretty much took care of Ganondorf. All right, yeah. So what you want to do um, is actually target one of them and target the other one and actually use their magic against him. So, oh, I can't reach up. Now the easiest way to do is actually target um, one, no, 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 crap, no, shoot. Now what you wanna do is actually target one of the witches and actually use their magic against the other twin. Alrighty. Now depending on how long this battle takes, yeah, this battle can take forever. All right, come on girls, come on, really? You old ladies, you old hags, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I really need the other one. Come on, where is the other one? Where is the other one? <laughs> I need the other one. She's right behind me. Okay, come on, God. girls. I keep saying guys, these guys are ladies, come on. At least pay respect to them. <laughs> Alright, there we go, you're on my target. There we go, haha. -ha. So, yeah, pretty much you do that four times, I believe so. So, yeah. Yeah, this battle, this battle actually takes forever for me. Like, it takes me like 10 tries. Or not 10 tries, um, like 10 minutes to defeat this boss. And I cannot see Komei or Kotaki or whatever the other one's Komei. Alright, um, I need to, like, actually get a little further. No, target the other one. There we go. Target her. No, target her. Target her. Target her. No, she's right there. Come on. Alright. No, 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 no. Target her. Oh, come on, I missed. Come on. Seriously. Sometimes I hate fighting these, um, the Twin Rova because, I don't know, sometimes the targeting system is actually kind of whacked off. Alright. Target her! Why is it not working? Come on. Why are you not working? Okay, come on. I need to at least get three more hits from these girls. Come on. Come on. Which one are you gonna fire? Which one is gonna fire? Come on, I, I cannot wait any longer. Okay, this one's gonna fire. Okay, okay, okay. No! Shoot, come on! What the? Ah! Stop laughing at me. Okay, no! Like, don't freeze! And target the other one! Target the other one! Target the other one! There we go! Oh my god! Okay, you know what? I'm using the Begoron sword in the next phase. Yeah, there's actually two phases in this boss. Alright, come on. Target her. Target her! Oh my god! <laughs> Why is the targeting system so so crappy in this battle? Come on. Okay. Please target the other twin. Thank you! Get her! Get her! Why is it not working? What the crap, man? Target her! There we go! Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely using the Goron Sword in the next phase because this is about taking way too long. Alright. Navi, help me. Help me, Navi. Ha Thank you. No, no, no. Get her. No! Come on. I seriously don't like this battle sometimes. No, get no, other side. Other side, Link. Other side. Come on, turn around. Oh, this battle is taking forever. <laughs> Alright. Alright, come on, please. Please. Stay there, stay there. Stay there. No, 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 you get back here, lady. Get back here. All right, are you guys done? What? Come on, how many hits was that? No, other, other, there we go. Tucker, Tucker, there we go. Alrighty. Please. Thank you. Okay, let's get serious, Kotake. Oh, okay, Kome. Kotake and Kome double dynamic attack. Holy crap, ladies. Wow. Um, yeah, <laughs> these got serious now. So, on to phase two. Now, you want to use your mirror shield, but actually you want to absorb their power. Like, when she's using fire, you want to absorb it three times in a row. Not 
in separate, you know. Yeah, if she's using ice, avoid it. If she's using fire, yeah, just absorb it. Like, if you start off with fire, start with fire. Or use fire through the whole time. Alright, fire, there we go. Okay, fire her! There we go. Yeah, I'm using the Vigoran sword. I am being cheap. Because this battle is like, taking way too long. Alright. Yeah, the Begoran sword, yeah, I'm going to use it because it's taking way too long in this fight. Or at least in this video. Okay, fire! Okay. I wish she used eyes, but oh well. It's pretty much the same effect as fire, so yeah. But oh well. I just want this battle to be done and over with because this video is actually kind of, well, taking a little bit more time. Alrighty. Fire! Alright. Wow, I'm surprised she hasn't fired ice yet. That's actually really surprising. Alright, lady. There we go. Haha. -ha. Yeah, it's unfortunate that she didn't use ice, but oh well, I just want to get this fight done over with because I've been struggling with the first half of this fight. Alright, Kotaki again, Kome. Free Naburu. <laughs> I love these girls. They're actually really funny. Shoot, what a fresh kid. This tongue will get serious, right, Kotaki? What? Hey, Kome, what is that above your head? That's a halo, guys. That's a halo. I don't know, but you have one over your head, too, Kotake. <laughs> so I'm guessing you guys are both dead. But I'm only 400 years old! And I'm only just 800 years old! We're twins, don't be trying to lie by your age. You must have got denial. Who are you calling Sinai? Is that... Ugh, they're going way too fast. <laughs> I love Twin World with Kotake and Kome. <laughs> You're whole heartless. You're ungrateful. Later. I'll come back to haunt you. Alrighty. <laughs> that is the end for Twin Roba, or in this case, Kotaki and Kome. But we'll see them in Majora's Mask. And with that, we get the last heart in the game. And with that, we got 20 hearts. Awesome. Finally. No more heart collecting. Yay. We got all the heart pieces in this game. I am so happy. Pat on the back for me. Yay. All right, we're doing good on time so far, so thank goodness, because I'm actually going a little bit, uh, I don't know, I'm almost done with this video, so, yeah, plus I want to do something in the next part. Alrighty. Oh, Nabru, wow, uh, I'm surprised they're the sage. Okay, not really, I knew she was the sage all along, but still. Kid, let me thank you. <laughs> Look what the little kid has become in the past seven years, a competitive swordman. Yep. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Gandor to do his evil will. Oh. But isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit? Yeah, it's actually really funny. We didn't expect that my first time, at least. And now I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Yeah, way to go, Nuru. Kid, no. Scaven, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Take it. I have to say, guys, Nabru, she's pretty sexy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Nabru is pretty sexy. <laughs> but with that, we get the oversized spirit medallion that won't fit in my pocket. <laughs> Alright, looks kinda like y the yin and yang sign. You know, the yin and yang sign, you know. Okay, whatever. You receive, receive the spirit medallion. Nabru awakens as a sage and asks her power to yours. Awesome. Alrighty. If only I knew you'd become such a handsome man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I should have kept the promise I made back then. Well, what promise? <laughs> Were you gonna promise a kiss for Link? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, uh, more cussing. Skevin, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the king of evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. Um, who is waiting for me? The one who is waiting for you at the temple on time. Okay. But we're not going to meet this person at the temple of time. We're actually going to go back to Gerudo Desert, or Gerudo Valley, because there's actually one thing I want to show. So, um, in the meantime, I'm actually going to cut um, you guys to Gerudo Valley, or Gerudo Fortress. So, yeah. Um, uh, what's the shortest way to go? Um... Uh, yeah, let's go with Serenade of Water. So, I'll wait, meet you guys um, in Gerudo Valley. 
or actually grew a fortune because there's actually one more thing that I want to do but I'll be doing it in the next part so yeah so I'll, got, I'll see you guys in Grew to Fortress oh by the way guys um yeah <laughs> Yeah, I'm not technically in Grudel Fortress, but um, once you defeat the Spirit Temple, the bridge is actually fixed. So look at that, the bridge is fixed. You pull them across the bridge. So yeah, unfortunately we can't cross the bridge as an, in an epic ways, but at least the bridge is fixed, so yeah, the carpenters actually fixed the bridge. Yeah, I'm not going to talk to them because I actually want to end this part right now. But before I do, there's actually one more thing that I am going to do in, in the next part. Alrighty, so in Grudel Fortress, remember that there was a training ground in Grudel Fortress. Since we have membership in, into the Grudel Fortress, we can actually um, go through the, Gr the Grudel Training Ground. And since we got all the items in all the dungeons, which we actually really need in order to complete the Grudel Training Ground, um, we can actually go do it. And it costs 10 rupees. So yeah, let's talk to this girl and do it. This is the Grudel Training Ground. Okay. Membership card verified. One try for 10 rupees. Yes, I will do it. Alright, I'll take you 10 rupees. Give it your best shot. Alrighty, so with this, it's actually kind of like a mini dungeon, kind of, but you get actually a uh, decent reward from this place, but it's actually not really worth it since there's no use for it in this game. But actually, Majora's Master is actually a big use for it, but I might as well get it, just for completion's sake. But anyway, this is the Gerudo Training Ground, it's kind of like the mini dungeon for the Gerudo Valley, but we'll be doing it in the next part. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina Time, we will be doing the Gerudo Training Ground. So... I will see you guys then. So this is Shaw Kirby 707 saying bye.